products. What I'd like to do is show you how to simplify an expression by using order of operations. So if you don't remember what the order of operations are, I'll write a little thing. So first thing for you. First thing we want to look at is inside the parentheses. So you always want to say, all right, in the parentheses, um, is there anything we can do? And so I look at these parentheses, and a lot of times, sometimes in the parentheses, there'll be more than one operation. But here we only have one operation. So before I do anything else, I'm going to want to make sure I figure out what my parentheses are. So let's say step number one, I'm going to work inside the parentheses. So here, inside these parentheses, I can do 2 minus 4. So I'll get 4 squared minus 3 times a negative 2. Second step, exponents. Are there any exponents? You can say yes, 4 squared. So before I do any other operations, I want to make sure I square my 4. So 4 squared is going to give me 16 minus 3 times negative 2. Now here's the biggest problem or mistake that students make. Is the next one is multiply divide. And then the last one, and I'm going to put these together, is add subtract. And these two, it's important for you to go left to right. And the reason why is because division and subtraction order matters, right? It's a big, there's a big difference if you do 5 minus 3 or 3 minus 5. Same thing with 5 divided by 3 and 3 divided by 5. So when you're doing division and, multi, division and subtraction, you really got to make sure you always work left to right. So what students usually get in their head, they say, oh, always work left to right, always work left to right. So they, they want to say 16 minus 3 times negative 2. Well, the problem is you're violating these steps. You always have to do multiply, divide first, then left to right, and then add, subtract, then left to right. So for step number 3, I have to do multiplication. Even though this subtraction is farther left, it would be what I'd first read, you have to make sure you're doing your multiplication. So it would be 16, and then negative 3, since that's a minus 3, it's a negative. Negative 3 times a negative 2 is going to give me a positive 6. And then last step is fairly easy. It just add 16 plus 6 is going to give me 22. All right? So that's how you simplify an expression using PEMDAS. And the way to reason and remember it. Jamari Hayes, please report to the main office. Jamari Hayes, please report to the main office.